Hey guys, I'm gonna give it back here for that video, guys. Today we'll be reacting to some Madden 23 gameplay, some Madden 23 kind of clips. Let's go ahead and talk about it, guys. So, yes, Madden 23 right now is said to be the best Madden in the last five years. That's what I read a tweet up from another YouTuber. So, I don't know how I feel about it. We're gonna just watch these clips and kind of go off of that. This first clip we have here is a 360 cut. So this is a brand new feature when it comes to uh, Madden, when it comes to running the football, whether you're running with Lamar Jackson, a, any quarterback possible, or you're running it with a running back. And I'm saying Lamar, because you're gonna see they're gonna show Lamar in this. Uh, now the cut and system is so much different. You can literally stop on a dime and make a quick cut going back and forth. And it is really just OP and broken. Now, will this be nerfed after the first two weeks? Most likely, yes. But for right now, it's going to be really broken day one. I have not had the uh, ability to get uh, access to the beta but i'm gonna guess in the beta this is probably really freaking broken and to be honest like come on now <laughs> let's be honest this is gonna be gonna be a little crazy so the cut system is completely changed now now it's going to be just a little bit 360 degrees um other clips we have again let's go ahead and show you off this clip right here because a lot of people actually got confused about this clip so let's go ahead and clear this up so this is of course the new throwing um, mechanic in Madden 2023 and as you can see now you're gonna go ahead and hit left trigger or L2 and you can actually go ahead and put up a little box of where you want the ball to go so you can see right here we're gonna target here and once we do that we actually have a little bit of a shadowy area and if we go ahead and see what happens here the ball will always be at the very end of that shadowly shadowy shadow area so the end of that shadow area will be where the ball goes so i know some people got confused on twitter because they're like whoa hold up hold up hold up is it anywhere in that box nope it's just the very end as you guys can see that is where they catch the ball and that is where you go ahead and go for the tutty so it's a little bit different like i said before running is gonna be different passing is gonna be different man 2023 based on what we've seen so far looks like it is going to be very very awesome so here's another thing we have this is gonna be the release move so the release moves a little bit different in man 23 than man 22 they're a little bit more realistic um again like i said so far we've seen so many offensive things and offense being actually overpowered and i wouldn't be surprised if this year madden did have more overpowered offense than last year um would not be surprised at all but you can see right there when you go ahead and cut and this is if you're using receiver you have left trigger left trigger right trigger which gets you that cut lets you be able to push off your guy and actually get open now this might be a little bit broken and in squads it's going to be really annoying because if you are not using the cornerback then the cpu is probably going to get beat almost every single play just by simply you using the receiver so that uh, it could get annoying but as you guys can see absolutely got destroyed by cooper cup on this play and not even a chance bam look at that cornerback that cornerback is in his own ankles ankles have been broken boys ankles have been broken so next thing we have here of course it says obviously these are things coming to the beta they're bringing madden ultimate team to the beta franchise mode face the franchise yard and superstar ko you know, like i said i've not played the beta yet uh, i love to get my hands on it but to be honest the beta is a beta you can't show off any clips anyway and everything usually in the beta at the end of the day probably will be fixed or nerfed before the game comes out that's usually how it works so sometimes the beta i do like playing the beta i do like talking about the beta but at the end of the day things get nerfed things get changed a lot um now we do have some other things that are interesting i'm seeing i'm gonna see if uh, ea sports post them here they probably did not because we are gonna have a complete new absolute system when it comes to abilities there are a lot of abilities now that because of how op they are becoming they're going to start becoming x factors and this usually happens all the time whenever the community loves an ability or love a set of abilities they usually become x factors because of the fact that they're so absolute broken or in general it's just very popular so what is field sense so field sense is a new system in madden 2023 it's a foundation of oh wait it's a foundation 
for consistent, ultra-realistic gameplay. It gives you more control of any pos every position and affects every game in Madden 23. Fueled by new physics, informed animations, and animation branching technology, Field Sense makes gameplay more authentic, bringing more priority and realistic physics uh, driven outcomes. Field Sense comes to life in Madden 23 in four major ways through new controls uh, mechanics that we're calling hit everything, skill based passing, 360 cuts, and wide receivers versus DBs. So obviously we looked at wide receivers versus DBs. We all looked at 360 cutting. Hit everything is interesting but we have not looked at that yet. We're starting off on the defense side of the ball with hit everything. So hit everything. We have heard from you uh, that at times tackling and collisions between players in Madden, gameplay felt predetermined, leading to immersion, breaking moments, and lack of total control. We built hit everything with a focus on um, those feelings. Hit everything is a... Uh, com uh, comprised of six key components that offer emergent gameplay interactions combined with over 3,500 new animations to give you the control over every uh, impact, tackle, and collision for more authentic outcomes. Uh, components of hit everything, hit the pile, stand-up tackles, hitting blocks, mid-air knockouts, and add-on blocks, branching, and physics tech. Very interesting. Very interesting. So they're actually trying to fix all this stuff. I'm telling you guys right now, and again, like I said, I've not played the beta, but based on when people have played the beta, based on what I've seen so far, this might be a really good Madden. And this might be a really good Madden for gameplay-wise, not just Ultimate Team. Skill-based passing. Continue to marvel the jaw dropping throws quarterbacks make every weekend mad in nfl and we bring these moments uh, to life in madden 2023 with our new passing uh mechanic uh skill based system and obviously we looked at before the basic the target area and the target uh ridicule which we looked at in that video free form passing which is another layer of control you can master as you become your favorite nfl quarterback free from gives you ability to pinpoint your throw to a receiver between uh within and outside of the target area again like i said we looked at that before the targeting two passing meters we we'll built two new passing meters which you can use with a skill based passing allowing you to choose what feels best power meter the first meter focuses on determining the power of your pass the meter will help you visualize what type of pass is throwing depending on when you let go of the receiver icon uh release the receiver icon early to lob it release the icon um in the middle of the meters to throw a touch pass and hold it to throw a bullet pass so we have already pretty much been accustomed to all this this is nothing new anyway though we have passing type passing showdown uh, passing free form max distance for uh, passing free form speed uh, ridicule visibility and meteor uh, meter visibility interesting we have 360 cuts which we looked at before and then we had the wide receiver versus DBs which of course is that cut mechanic where you can go ahead and hit left 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 right to go ahead and get that release better and I will say like I said before you know everything I've seen so far and we have not seen everything possible for Madden from ea sports when it comes to madden 23 we're never going to see everything possible unless you play the beta or again the game comes out so i'm gonna try to see what more information we do get um i'm gonna try my best to you know i know i skipped past a lot of these articles and didn't read them the reason why i don't read them guys is because i do like to give you guys information on what's going on but sometimes ea sports does fabricate a lot when it comes to certain things they say they say, oh, hey, this is the system. This is how it works. And guess what? Most of the time, it doesn't work the way it's said. So a lot of times, these articles, these posts, although helpful, are a lot of bullcrap. That's how it works. So I'm going to wait for gameplay to really break down these things. But like I said before, interesting enough. Got to give you a force props where props are due. This looks like it's going to be a pretty good man. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.